Hey everyone! Today I have a tiny Michaels haul and a summer daily talk. So, um, this week I've been really going back and forth with the idea of creating a summer daily. Last year I made my first summer daily and <clears throat> although I had fun making it, I do remember being very frustrated with um, a few things. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. But before that, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get into my tiny haul from Michaels. This is the reason why I decided to give in and make a mini album or a December Daily this year. So I found this adorable paper pad at Michaels by Recollections. And they have a ton this year, but this one really stood out to me. It's called Safe Freeze. And I'm going to do it this way. So um, it's this is very thick cardstock. It has a, like a glossy finish to it. But the reason why I fell in love with it is because of the um, watercolored look that it has. And it has my favorite colors for Christmas. Red, black, and green. And I just really love this. So here there's, um, sorry it's sideways, but this is the best way I can get all of it in. And there's two of each. Look how awesome this looks. It's like a huge Tim Holtz thing and they just splattered it with water and it kind of became like this distressed look. I just love it so much. This really... Um, grab my attention so again there's two of each this one is really cute and it's all um treated so i don't know if you guys can see but there's some embossed snow yeah on all of it it's really cool you guys can sort of hear that so i love snowman when it comes to christmas that's my favorite thing look how awesome this is i'm gonna be saying that throughout the whole flip through this one's so cute it says just chilling it because he has a cup of coffee on his head cute look how beautiful isn't this amazing and it's treated again so it has this little snowflake just glittery thing and I just it's like someone took a stencil and just really like sprayed on it and it just it's it's really awesome it's my it's my kind of thing <laughs> love this one here I kind of wish they didn't do this in the middle because this is kind of hard to use but I love this pattern right here and then this one oh, I love it. I love stripes. I love the black and the red and the white. This is just awesome. And then look how cute! The ugly sweater page! I just love it and I want to like cut them out and use them as decorations on the page itself or just strips. I'm just really loving this paper pad so much. So look how cute this one is. It's like little snowflakes kind of polka dot. That's what it reminds me of. And look how cute! <laughs> little um, snowman ornaments. How cute! Love this one. Again, the same kind of uh, pattern, but this one's red and green. Love it so much. I think this would make an amazing um, December daily. Even the backgrounds, you know, this is very simple and you can add to it. And you can even cut some of these mittens and, and um, stockings. I just love them. And like decorate everything. Like this, I'll, this whole collection will go really well together. Love this one. One of my favorite pages. And you guys know why. I love it. You have this one again, but this time it's in red. Look how cute the snowman chalkboard paper is. Oh, I love it. And this one says, I fa la 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 love snow. Isn't it cute? And this one is cool because you can use it two ways. You can use just this part, or you can cut out the snowman and use that. I just really love it. A red one. This one's so cute, the little cookie page. Isn't it adorable? I love this collection. And then you have green swirls, or a fish scale swirly thing. Love this one. Love this one so much. I love the black. I think that's what really caught my attention to this page, to this collection too, because I last year, which I'll show you my December daily last year, I got the Heidi Swap one, which was red, black, and um, yeah, green. So that's what I... Those are my colors I love to use for Christmas or December dailies, I guess. And this is a cutout page. Really fun things you can cut out. And there's a lot, actually. So really fun. And that is it. So this collection is safe. It's called Safe Freeze. Love it to death. So I had to pick it up. And that is why I'm going to be doing a December daily because I need to use this paper. And then I got a really small um, Ho 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 wood veneer. I thought it would be really cute to color up and alter and put in my... December daily and this wooden um, ornament because I'm going to be making an ornament for a friend so that's going to be in a video to come so that is my mini haul like I said really tiny and I'm going to show you my December daily from last year I actually rebinded 
this when I got my cinch. I thought that I got a big enough spiral thing, but I didn't. It's still really chunky, and I don't like this. It's really hard to display and really hard to share it with people, and I keep it in a plastic bag in my closet because it's just so big and I don't want things falling off. So it's not very ideal. Um, yeah, so this was my December daily from last year, and I'm really proud of it. I think I worked really hard, and I really like each single page. It's really adorable. I like the... I In general, I like this idea of having a book like this as a December daily. A lot of people use the Snap album, which I have three of them, and they all have projects to go in them, but I haven't actually worked on that. So I don't know if I should just take a Snap album and then use this paper as my you know, inserts, or should I just create a whole album? I was thinking of making a 5x7 um, mini because I don't think I'm going to have a lot to share this year. I'm not going out to Disney or anything like that, which which is what I have in this album. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? Should I use a snap album and make inserts with my paper, or should I make an actual album kind of like my Halloween one, you know, and um, make it like that? Obviously, I'm going to use a bigger bind binding system and probably a lot less paper because... I don't want this to happen again. So I thought I would just do a really quick flip through again of this album. I mean, I have it all in videos from last year. I really am proud of this album and how everything turned out, but things are not staying put, you see? So if I had a snap album, they're in the plastic dividers, and that would be a lot safer because um, they won't, things won't fall out. I really love how this album turned out. Even this, like the overlay of how this looks. Sorry about the glare on top of the castle. It was really cool. And this is the first time I went to Disney, so I took a lot of pictures. I love these photos of the castle. How beautiful are these? And so, um, this is me with Ariel and Gaston. <laughs> I really love this album. I really enjoy flipping through it. And I love this page as well. I love the greens and the reds. Oh, I really had a lot of fun working on this. I'm not gonna lie, but then Towards the end, it was starting to get like a little a routine, not routine, but like a chore because I really just wanted it to be finished. Um, this is my, you see how the black and the red and the green and the silver goes well together? I just really love this and that's why I really like this album, this new collection because it has a lot of black in it too. Let's be, there's a little pocket thing that comes out. And then I did some journaling on that in the back here. I like this. I like the small um, surfaces like this because just adding a few stickers really makes it the whole page come together, and it's such a small little thing, but it looks really cool together. So I, I really like that. Um, here, this is back home. I did a lot of YouTube watching. This is really fun to look back on. I wasn't happy to come back home. <laughs> That's me. I took a picture in the bathroom in the airport. Some airplanes really like how this turned out. I keep saying that. Look how beautiful this page is with the greens and the... Oh, it's so Christmassy. I love it. <laughs> this is me, the second, the first day back and there was a snowstorm. So I was, you know, in a nice Florida weather and then I came back to a snowstorm covered in snow walking to the dollar store. So I was doing the Christmas tree. So it is fun. Like, I never thought myself as a Christmas girl. I never really liked the holidays. But I noticed that, because you guys know me, I'm all about Halloween. Um, but I noticed that creating, getting into scrapbooking has really made me enjoy the Christmas season. You know, and basically what I think is all the um, Christmas embellishments and papers and all those colors of, you know, scrapbook supplies and, and scrapbook things have made me like Christmas. And I, I don't know, is that just me? Are other people like that out there? But... I was never a Christmas girl until I started scrapbooking four years ago. And because I started scrapbooking, I find all these cute little doodads and snowmans and gingerbread people and cute stickers that makes me like Christmas. Which, um, I find it funny. <laughs> yeah, like, I thought, I said to myself I wasn't going to make one this year. But then, um, seeing pictures and videos of December Daily had put me in that feeling again. Like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to want to make one. <laughs> So this is some uh, a swap I had with Jen Scrabina, and so I kept some of her uh, stuff, and I put the tag here, and she loves gingies, so I put a gingerbread guy. Um, I actually really, this was really fun. She made me cookies. Isn't that adorable? 
Oh, I really like this. This was a good year. It was a good year to document. Love this page. I mixed a lot of silver and gold and different colors together. Like, I thought I was going to go traditional red, green, and black. Well, black's not really a traditional color, but I thought I was going to go like that. But then I add pops of blue. So that was really cool because everything really went well together. Oh, yeah. This is cool. It's like a pocket. And then there was some journaling. Another picture of my Christmas tree. I did some journaling here. I like these interactive things. It's fun. And so, um, there was a snowstorm here. Winter snowstorm warning. This is a card that I made. And then I kind of just like, you know, it flips up. I bought these boots. I was obsessed with these boots. And now I never wear them because it's so hard to wear. I don't know. <laughs> I paid a hundred and something for these boots and I wore them twice. Which sucks. But anyway. I was really excited about them when I got them. So, um, Yeah. Really fun. I know this video is a little long, but I'm just like really enjoying looking through everything. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I make a December daily again? I, I, I guess I will, but I don't think I'll have a lot to share this time around. It's going to be interesting to see what I think is important this year to document. So, look at my little kitty. <laughs> Opening the gifts, stockings. I love these little cards that I made. Really cute too. goes there. Little stocking. I really love the stickers that come out this year. Look. Like for the for the holiday season, the stickers are just so cute. I think that's what makes me want to do stuff like December daily things and projects because it's just so fun. I redid my hair purple. Came out a little dark, but it turns out really great because it, you know, it fades. Now this year my hair is gray. Oh, that's hilarious because I bought these two watches. I don't know why I don't wear watches and I don't wear them. I, I bought two and I never wear them. Isn't that hilarious? Here's like um some shots of comments that I got from Heidi Swap that I, uh, that's really cool. So cool. I documented Heidi Swap liking my, my pictures. I, I think I got this from Jen. Yeah, I did. So I did some journaling on that and this is from Crystal. And it tucks up behind this. And Happy New Year. And this is the first selfie of 2014. So, yeah. That was my December daily. It won't close. And I enjoyed it. I really did. I, I, it's pretty to look at. It's all nicely. It goes well together. I really wonder how this year is going to look like. And um, so... What do you guys suggest? Do you think I should use a snap album or just make one like this? Even though it's going to be really hard because it's going to get chunky again. And I don't like chunky books. So, not sure what to do. Also, if you guys have any Christmas dyes that you love and suggest, I would love to hear what you guys think. Because I was doing some... I don't want to go overboard this year. I have way too much stuff from last year. But I don't have any dyes because last year I didn't have a die cutting machine. So I was looking for some Christmas dyes. Anything you guys think I would like, you know, just let me know. Or what are your favorite dyes to use or your favorite Christmas stamps from this year or anything. I've just really, I even asked on my Facebook page. I'm looking for some inspiration for the holiday season. So, you know, any craft supplies that you think I'd like for the Christmas season, um, let me know. I would love to do some shopping and, you know, check everything out. So thanks for watching. This is just a really random video. I apologize if it's not something you enjoyed. But everybody's doing some December daily videos and I really wanted to do a little December daily video too while I'm working on my Halloween album. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.